So you're considering a move to the city of Fairfax, but you'd kind of like to know a little bit more about the lay of the land before you decide to make that big move. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. I'm actually gonna jump into my computer so that I can take you around on Google Maps, show you where the city of Fairfax is in proximity to Washington, D.C., the airport, Tyson's Corner, and what it has to offer in terms of entertainment, shopping, and dining. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to stick around because we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, living, working, and playing in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll never miss a video. My name is Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, shoot us a DM on social. We've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. All right, so here we are giving you a look at the city of Fairfax. And before we really dive in, I just want to point out that the city of Fairfax is separate from Fairfax. It has its own police department, EMT, taxes, etc. The city of Fairfax is darn near smack dab in the middle of Fairfax County. But important to know if you are relocating to the area that the city of Fairfax is separate from Fairfax. It's still a Fairfax address though. I know it's kind of confusing. It's definitely a Northern Virginia thing. So let's jump over here and we are going to give you an idea if you're living in the city of Fairfax, just how long is it gonna take you to get to Washington, D.C.? Right now, there's a little bit of traffic today, so it's showing in about 40 minutes. I would say that is about average. You certainly could be looking at longer than that if you're commuting into the city. It's not rush hour right now while I'm filming this, so you could be looking at, I would say, about an hour commute if you are driving during peak times from the city of Fairfax. Let's also check out Tyson's Corner. We always do Tyson Corner Center because that's just an easy address to work from the mall right there. Tyson's is a huge employment hub in the area, so chances are um, a lot of you that are watching may be commuting into Tyson's Corner. And 20 minutes by car from the city of Fairfax, no matter where you are, it's only about uh, six square miles the city of Fairfax is, you're looking at about 20 minutes to get to Tyson's. I would say on a really rough traffic day, maybe 30, 35, but it is a very reasonable commute if you want to live in the city of Fairfax and you're going to be working in Tyson's. Next up, let's also check out Dulles Airport and we'll do Reagan as well because it's about 50-50 time-wise. You're looking at 27 minutes. I'd say average is about half an hour, um, just under 20 miles to Dulles Airport, so not too far. And then let's take a look at Reagan as well. Reagan is about half hour as well, 32 minutes right now. So it just depends. Um, Dulles is better in terms of international flights. But if you're saying national, then definitely check out Reagan as well. It really um, is 50-50 distance wise if you're going to be living in the city of Fairfax. Last up. Also, I want to check out Arlington, again, another big employment hub in the area. And from the city of Fairfax going to Arlington, actually, let me reverse this. City of Fairfax going into Arlington doesn't make much difference coming or going. You're looking at about 25 minutes. Um, it's only a little over 13 miles, so not too far. But depending on which route you're going, 66 can definitely have some pretty atrocious traffic um, if you're going during peak rush hour time. All right, let's come back over here and I wanna jump into just everything that the city of Fairfax has to offer. So now let's jump into um, Main Street in the city of Fairfax, which is 
telling of the name, <laughs> really the main drag in the city of Fairfax. And what's so great about Main Street is it has a lot of mom and pop businesses. You can just stroll around and there are a lot of great events there. And I like to point out the city of Fairfax um, with the other areas that we have covered, um, you know, your Arlington and your Falls Church, they all have that downtown area. But what makes the city of Fairfax unique is you do have the downtown area, but it's such a small city that it's not the same hustle and bustle as say Arlington. So if you're looking for access to the farmer's market and your mom and pop businesses, dining as well, but you want a little bit slower pace, City of Fairfax is definitely worth checking out. Right here, we have Commonwealth Dry Goods. You can find all Virginia made products here. Great shop to go into. The owners are wonderful and extremely helpful. And you can really find some unique products here, which I think is always nice. Another thing to point out about the city of Fairfax, you see the parking here. There is a lot of free parking in the city of Fairfax. Definitely also a plus. You can put your car in the garage and then go stroll around downtown. You can see here, you've got your farmer's market on Saturdays. They've got a great little farmer's market right next to the courthouse. And it's actually on Saturday and Sundays. Sundays does not have as many vendors. So if you're looking for the most options, you're definitely want to get going to want to go on Saturday. And then also in the area, let me move this, oops, move this over a little bit more. Downtown Fairfax, you also have the city of Fairfax Regional Library. That's actually where some more free parking is if you're gonna be down there. If you're looking for some entertainment, you have Bond's escape room. Some friends and I have done quite a few rooms there, really friendly staff, and some of the rooms are pretty difficult. You've got a bridal shop, uh, the Old Shabeen, that is a restaurant and bar. It can get pretty busy on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights in terms of the bar area. You've got the ice cream parlor. You've got Capital Ale House over here. Great place to go catch a uh, sports game if you're into watching sports. You've got a thrift store. Of course, you have a bank. And then I'm actually going to come over here. This is a different shopping center. This is right, right here. As you're entering the downtown area here on Main Street, this is a separate shopping center. You've got your noodles and company, Main Street Marketplace, TJ Maxx. Um, there's also an Ace Hardware in here that isn't showing up on the map right now. And then good old Starbucks. You know, you cannot go without the Starbucks if you're a big fan. Personally, I'm a Dunkin' fan, but no judgment if you love Starbucks. Old Town Square here. A lot of different events go on here. Another thing about the city of Fairfax is the sense of community is, I mean, it really is just top notch in the city of Fairfax. So many different events. We're coming up on holiday time. So they'll be, um, you get to meet Santa. They've got a light show, a holiday market. City of Fairfax does a great job with continuing events um, just throughout the year. Now let's come turn this off. And we're going to backtrack a little bit to come over to Fair City Mall, which is one of the larger and very popular shopping centers in the city of Fairfax. You have Marshalls. Um, there's actually a Safeway right here that's not shown on the map currently. Lifetime Fitness, huge fitness center. If you're looking for a gym to join, this Lifetime has been there for years and has a really great staff. And then also within Fair City Mall, you've got another coffee shop. You have Burlington, Sierra, if you're shopping for some home goods, Potbelly, uh, Sporting Goods Store, First Watch. They are well known for their breakfast in the area. Nail Bar, there's also an Ulta in here. Anything that you could need for you know groceries and daily needs, you will find it in Fair City Mall. And then if you just jump right over here across Pickett Road, then in this shopping center in this general area here, you have Chuck E. Cheese, you have Trader Joe's, Einstein Brothers Bagel. Um, there's a car repair shop here, Blue Ocean Japanese. So some more shopping and dining options for you. And then we're gonna come up here just a little bit so that we could show you the Fairfax Ice Arena. 
This is popular if you would like to get your ice skating on, certainly the time of year to do that. Fairfax Ice Arena is another staple to the area. It's been there for years, really fun place to go and ice skate. That really about wraps it up for the city of Fairfax. Again, it's only about six square miles. It's a smaller area, but so much to offer. And even though it doesn't have Metro, you are only, let's see, oops. Let me take you to Metro too. Vienna Metro is gonna be your best option. So from the city of Fairfax, you're only looking about 10 minutes to Metro. No Metro station um, in the city of Fairfax, but there is one close by. City of Fairfax really does have a lot of dining options, shopping as well. It doesn't have a shopping mall. So if you're interested in heading to a shopping mall, Fair Oaks would be your closest option. And let's see only about 10 minutes as well. So anything that you could possibly need is within 10, max 15 minutes of the city of Fairfax. So that about wraps it up. 24,146 people live in the city of Fairfax. Again, it's a smaller area. The median home value is $707,358. And the median household income is $109,708. As always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. Until next time, we hope to show you around town.